Let me ask you, why do we die? Is it because of old age? When we die, our death certificate will not say we died because we were too old. It will give a reason such as cancer or heart attack or another serious illness. So usually we die because of an illness. Illnesses don't just shorten life, they reduce the quality of life. The World Health Organization says that there are 1 billion overweight people in the world today. About 300 million of them are obese. Obesity is a disease magnet. It attracts a risk for at least 30 other diseases like cancer, diabetes, and stroke. Every year, cancer kills 7 million people. There are 10 million new cancer cases every year. In fact, every 30 seconds, someone gets cancer. Every 50 seconds, someone dies of cancer. Heart disease kills 16 million people. Diabetes affects 177 million people. In the year 2030, there will be twice as many diabetics as there are today. Sadder still, so many children are getting adult-type diseases. There are 17.6 million children under 5 years who are overweight. More and more children are also getting diabetes and high cholesterol. Unless we do something about it, one in every three kids could become diabetic. Is someone in your family going to be one of these statistics? I have a girlfriend. She doesn't worry about falling sick at all. When I ask her why, she says, doctors today are very smart. Drugs today are also very advanced. I can fool you one day and get better the next day. So why worry? If that was true, why do people still die? Won't everyone with cancer survive? Drugs cannot guarantee a cure. Drugs also give harmful side effects. Sometimes the side effect can be worse than the disease itself. Recently, it was reported that up to 98,000 people die annually from mistakes made in U.S. hospitals. Many of these mistakes were wrong drug prescriptions. We must know that many diseases today don't have a cure. For example, SARS killed 900 people in 2003. Bird flu kills three in every 10 people infected. Why isn't there a cure for SARS or bird flu? SARS and bird flu viruses are mutated viruses. It is very difficult to find a drug that kills them. If a drug is found, when the virus mutates again, the drug might become useless. Even the common flu has no cure. Every year, up to half a million people die from flu. Flu drugs don't kill the flu virus. The drug only shortens symptoms by a day or two. Think about the time you had a cold and a headache. The painkiller you took did not kill the virus, but still, you got better. How? During the SARS outbreak, some people died during treatment. Others on the same treatment survived. Some cancer patients live for years, although doctors tell them their days are numbered. How is this possible? It is not magic. It's not because of drugs. It is because of the person's immune system. The good news is that all of us have an immune system. In fact, with a little bit of help, we can use our immune system to prevent almost any disease in the world.